A lot of people are planning to gamble on the NFL this year. Again, it is the eve of the NFL season. NFL kicks off tomorrow. So the American Gaming Association, uh, with their annual projections for how many people are going to bet on the NFL this year, we'll run through a couple of the key numbers here. 73 million Mer Americans plan to bet on the NFL. That is up 56% from last season. And then when you take a look at how many, uh, how many fans are planning to bet, you can see that 19% of U.S. adults plan to bet, while 35 million plan to bet online, mm -hmm. and then 13 million plan to bet at a physical sports book, which is interesting because we talk a lot about online sports gambling, right. but there are still people going into these sports books to bet. To me, this is a story I'm working on right now that'll go up on our website over the weekend, but the biggest story for me of sports gambling right now is you have ESPN getting involved mm -hmm. with Penn, and then you also have Fanatics, which is a giant sports e-commerce retailer run by Michael Rubin, valuation over 30 billion, private company. Mm -hmm. But are they able to disrupt what DraftKings and FanDuel have been able to build over the last couple of years? I'm sure you guys talked to some of your friends about gambling. It's really kind of DraftKings and FanDuel and everyone else right now. And so are these new companies, especially when you talk about ESPN, that sports brand, Disney getting involved, mm -hmm. can they disrupt what has become sort of two top dogs at the top is what I'm excited to see right. this fall. Mm -hmm. And the loyalty that's with these companies, the loyalty that they've been able to build over the past years. I mean, it's only been a short run up to this 2023 season yeah. of how long sports gambling has been legal in the U.S. And mm -hmm. to think about the white space that still exists, I think it's something like more than 30 states that's legalized. Right. There's still, of course, many more to come. Mm -hmm. And I think also also, too, it's, you know, we were talking before, but I myself haven't really dabbled too much in gambling. I feel like there's so many other Americans who are similar to me that haven't done it yet. And certainly, as you know, I hear it. I'm like, this is insane. You need a one person on a specific team needs to run 50 yards in order <laughs> to then, bets, you know, get yeah. two yeah. touchdowns. And yeah. then then you win $500 after betting only 10. I'm like, mm. this just sounds so complicated. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth all the money. Well, I, I do think these stats prove that there's just a lot more accessibility, right? You can right. do it on your phone. It's easy. Yeah. There are more states that are legalizing this. It's in the news a lot more. You mentioned that Penn ESPN deal. Mm. I mean, that also involved Barstool, which mm -hmm. I think got yeah. a lot of people yeah. curious about that so it's just uh, it's definitely a presence right now and this stat uh, stood out to me self-identified NFL fans so those fans that are constantly wa watching and tuning into football 37 percent are projected to place a bet this year that's up from 42 percent from last year so pretty I would have thought it'd be higher yeah. To be honest, it seems like that's just like where when you look it at might be. when you look at where it's the broadcasts survey. are going and stuff, it's so betting focused now. It feels like when you watch these games, they're literally yeah. talking about it, so you feel like kind of everyone's doing it. I don't know. I thought that number yeah. might be a little well, bit higher. Well, to, to that point, I think we're going to eventually hit a point where on streaming services and cable, you can they're going to utilize AI or whatever that you right. can bet in real time. On It'll certainly service. help to get some of those big states like California, Texas, right. Florida, mm -hmm. et cetera, to legalize and actually allow mobile sports. And games. I know the NFL is leaning a little bit more into gambling way more than they used to at yeah. least. Yeah. Definitely.